Hello, so this is a question I get asked a lot. Honestly, it's a question I've, I've answered many times in comments and stuff. And like, and I just, I feel like it's a question that does, shouldn't need to be answered. But um, like, I just had a guildmate answer, ask the same question in guild chat. And it's like, and I'm honestly like, wait, what? People still don't understand this. And then what I'm talking about is Cornelius and how to counter him. Like, and I don't think Cornelius is that great of a hero. I think he's really not worth investing in at all. But a lot of people uh, still seem uh, b uh, baffled by him. Right. So Cornelius, I guess we should look at his uh, hero sheet. Where is he? He's way down here. Oh, I clicked the wrong hero. So his ability, Heavy Wisdom, it hits the enemy with the highest intelligence with a monolith, dealing damage proportional to their intelligence, right? Um, this is damage per intelligence points, I said, plus magic attack. So this is physical damage based on Cornelius' magic attack. Notice it's a red number, which means it's physical damage, but it's based on his magic attack stat, which is like makes him kind of a unique hero because he does physical damage based on magic attack for his ults. Um... Right, like I said, see how uh, these ones are all based on magic because these numbers are in green. Like these, like I said, well, these are actually defense numbers, but uh, different, like so, so, except that see, these are all, the other stuff's magic attack, but this is a physical attack one. This is different from like a pure damage hero. Like those ones are green. Those are pure damage, but uh, we find a magic attack damage hero that does, like I said, they're all way up here. I do all of my mages. Right, see how purple numbers for magic damage? Like I said, so Cornelius does physical damage with his ults, right? A lot of people miss that, but uh, because targets the hero with the highest intelligence points, right? So this is how you counter him, is that you uh, make sure that your hero with the highest intelligence points is someone who won't die in one hit, or you just patron Axel on them. Like, that's the easiest way, is you just uh, patron Axel on whoever it is. Like, let's say your, your like, Celeste is your highest intelligence hero. You would just patron her. And then when uh, he uses his Heavy Wisdom, it will go straight for Celeste. Um, having an Axel as your active pet can also help. Um, like I said, another solution is that uh, Krista has, like, probably the highest intelligence in the entire game. One of, if not the highest. Like, but she ends up with really high intelligence when she's maxed out. And uh, Heavy Wisdom... Like I said, like said, because she has her ice shield theme. Uh, when heavy wisdom goes towards her, uh, she, like I said, she will, like I said, it will target her because she has the highest intelligence, and uh, she'll block it. Right, like I said, she has a very high uh, intelligence rate, especially when she's maxed out. So you could just put Krista. Like I said, if you have a problem with Cornelius, like nabbing your healers or whatever, or your supports, right? You can actually bring in Krista to counter him. Like, she is a pretty hard counter. Like, if your intelligence is high enough, like, like I said, you know, this this hard counters Cornelius pretty easily. But again, like, most time you could just stick a Axel Patron on your highest intelligence hero, and that will be, that's, that'll be enough. And, you know, Cornelius can't one-shot them, so unless they're below, like, low enough health. Um, so that's usually the easiest way to uh, block him, but, um, uh, right, you can, but like I said, if you do, like, some of these hero challenges, let's go to Maxim just for sake, because my Cornelius is weak as heck. So, like, let's, let's just set up a defensive team with my, with the kind of heroes I use a lot. Like, so let's use, well, actually, let's do Cornelius on defense. And let's do Nebula. Sebastian, Fox, Aurora, maybe not Nebula, we'll do, we'll do Celeste just because she's kind of like the go-to here. We'll just do a pretty good team here. Um, da, da, da. Probably do want that and then that seemed like a good setup. Maxed out team. Right, so let's challenge this. Like, so let's. So we will use. It's interesting. That Cornelius ends up like at the very top when we're max, and it might just have to do with my currents, because I have support tree branch so high. <laughs> like that's been my focus on the tree of wisdom. Uh, 
Uh, where is Sebastian? Not like it matters too much. For some reason I can't find it. Here it is. So we'll we'll do this fight here. We'll show you like in putting up a dodge buff because it is a physical damage. Uh, you can dodge it. So like like I said, we'll watch this battle. We'll see what happens with Cornelius ult. We'll just put this in auto. But a Cornelius' ult should go towards Krista. Right? And I guess we can speed this up till get a bit of stuff going. Okay. We should be close to ults now. Like, he'll probably ult soon. Right, and we just wanna... Right, so he's ulting. And it goes straight for Krista, because Krista has the highest intelligence uh, in this team. Like I said, she has one of the highest... I think she might actually have the absolute highest intelligence when she's fully maxed. So Krista is always a big good pick. Uh, against Cornelius, right? So we'll do another one here, and without without Krista to kind of show you what happens. Like I said, what if you don't have Krista? What if Celeste is your highest intelligence hero, right? So let's do Aurora Celeste. Um, Sebastian. Let's do Thea. Or actually, may not see it. We'll want to try something different that's not so dependent on. That view is probably not going to work here either. Um, let's try something more physical based. Let's try Dante. Like I said, Nebbia won't work because it'll be with the Celeste there. So, Dante. I'm just thinking here. Um. Uh, sure, why not? Let's put Fox in here again. So we'll do this. Okay, so we will put Axel on uh, Celeste here. And uh, just show you what happens. Like I said, so Celeste is going to be the target here. And Axel should protect her. Between the pa patron and... Okay, here's the ult. It's going towards Celeste. Right, she actually dodged it, so which gave her a bunch of energy, and that's because we have dodge buffs up. And that's the thing about physical attack, like, Cornelius is not a danger, like, I don't think he, like, so this part of the way, I think he's a weak hero. But if you go without, like I said, dodge buffs, or without Axel, like, you know, Cornelius can get you, but it's just, like I said, this is kind of, like I said, he's pretty easy to counter, and that's kind of, like, the point here, is that he's easy to counter. You know, you can put Axel as your patron, you can dodge it, uh, you can just bring in Krista and he'll target Krista, assuming she has your highest int, and Krista will just block with her ice shield, so. Pretty easy uh, hero to counter. Uh, you know, a lot of people seem to struggle with him, but uh, he he's really is uh, one of the easiest heroes to deal with. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video fun and informative. Thank you for watching.